There's a reason why almost 83% of Germans have the private liability insurance. And the reason is it is cheap, it covers them in a lot of different kind of scenarios so that they don't have to pay massive amounts of money from their own pocket, which can sometimes even make them broke. You know that Germany, it's a country with a lot of paperwork. You can also get sued for different kind of things. So this is the reason why many people like to get a private liability insurance. What it is and how it is going to help you I'm going to discuss in this video. Towards then, I will also share with you how you can get a private liability insurance yourself just in a matter of few minutes. The private liability insurance or the Haftpflichtversicherung or Privathaftpflichtversicherung, this kicks in when you damage somebody else's properties or you damage someone else as a person. From that I mean maybe you're in a car accident or something or you're just on the cycle, you hit somebody, they have to go to the hospital, they have to go to different kind of therapies, maybe they're not able to work anymore. In all of those different kind of scenarios, when you would be the person who would be paying them money from your own pocket, instead of doing that, the insurance company takes care of that. So this is the reason why many people really want to have that. Also in winter times, you know this very funny rule that in Germany, you need to keep the pedestrian walk in front of your house clean because if somebody trips and falls on your space of the area then you would be the one who would be liable for any kind of damages which happens to that person this means you have to keep it clean if there are any kind of like leaves there you have to remove them if there's any kind of snow already built up there you have to make sure it's gone otherwise if a cyclist fall if a pedestrian falls and then you would be the person who would be paying the Schmerzensgeld now what is Schmerzensgeld this is the money that you pay somebody because you have caused them schmerzen or pain. So if you cause somebody pain, literally it's translated as pain money. So this is something that you would have to do in many scenarios. Also, it is relevant for people. For example, you're coming to Germany for the first time and you don't know how it is to live in uh, you know, apartments, what kind of rules there are. Maybe you end up damaging some properties or something like that. You know, maybe you're cooking and maybe the wall in front of the stove where you are cooking different kind of dishes, you're having all sorts of spices inside and the wall gets discolored. In those kind of scenarios too, you would be able to use the private liability insurance in case the landlord asks you to take care of that or pay some extra amount of money because the damage was caused by whatever you did in that house. So this is the reason why so many people use this and have a policy with one of the insurance companies with that. The policies are also actually not very expensive. They go anywhere from 50 to 80 euros per year. So you'd be spending maybe four euros per month or something like that. And with this, you're covered in so many other scenarios that I'll be discussing with you later on. Now, of course, in Germany, you have different kind of insurances, also different kind of private liability insurances. If you're having a dog, you need to have a private liability insurance for that. If you're having a cycle or something, you can have one separately for that. If you have a car, of course, you need to have a separate insurance for that and so on. But for everything else, the general coverage is going to be covered by this insurance. Now I'm going to take you to one of the provider's website and I'm going to show you what are the different kind of scenarios that they have mentioned where you can get the benefit of having a private liability insurance. All right, so this is one of the providers get safe. And when you go to the website, you can choose either English or German. And here you're able to see in liability and legal, the liability insurance, and where they essentially mention already that you can cover yourself up to 50 million euros per claim. The key loss is covered and you also enjoy this coverage worldwide. So even if any of these damages happen outside Germany, you're still able to use them without any kind of major problems. Now, after scrolling down, you can see that it is also one of the cheaper insurance company. Let's see what's covered. So let's start with this one, which is the leisure and key loss. So personal liability is an absolute must have. We covered the financial costs should you accidentally cause damage to someone else, their property or assets. Damage to your own property is not covered. This is a standard thing in most of the private liability insurances because these are the insurances against liability. That means you did somebody else some wrong. If you do something to yourself, that's not pretty much covered. So leisure and key loss, what kind of uh, scenarios here? Let's take a look. Whether you're playing or doing sport or enjoying your time abroad, your personal liability insurance has you covered. 
So if you're taking part in any kind of sport activities, football, skiing, surfing, and so on. And again, when you cause somebody else damage, right? It's very important to always have this distinction. Uh, liability claims that arise as a result of horse, bicycle, or motor vehicle racing are not covered. So this is another thing that you maybe have to watch out for. Maybe there's a set special one where you can take just for your bike or something that is also possible. So personal liability insurance comes to the rescue if you're driving a rented car abroad in Europe and cause damage to someone else or their property because it is so first of all in these scenarios most of the times the car that you're renting it is already going to come with some kind of insurance but it's also nice to have this kind of extra thing when you're in a place where these kind of things are not covered so then comes damage abroad longer stays outside of europe are also covered by this policy if you cause damage that results in liability claim you can fall back on the fact that you're covered up to five years with the same level of cover you'd receive in germany in europe you're protected for an unlimited period however you must be a resident of germany at the time of the claim for this to apply so in general anyways you don't need to be a german citizen to get a private liability insurance but you just need to have your residence in germany that's the main thing uh, motor vehicles not subject to insurance so that there's some more things here uh, lawnmower and so on pets are covered many of them but there's a separate i think dog liability insurance that you can get exotic pets and so on you can read about it most important that i personally find here is key replacement for houses because many times what happens is in germany you're living in a big building and there are multiple apartments there and if you lose the key for the building what happens is that the person who has the key now is able to access many areas so he's able to maybe access the entrance he's able to access the basement he's able to access the post box maybe there are some other keys which are similar so to limit the damage for that what the landlords do is they generally change the entire lock system and when they have to do that they also have to give new keys to everybody the same is true at work if you also lose your key at work they will have to do the same thing and that's why people generally get pretty angry or like pretty pissed when something like this happens because there is a lot of work which is going to come at them when you lose a key or something so in those kind of scenarios the entire locks have to be replaced if there are some kind of like you know these key cards or something maybe they also have to be replaced and maybe have to be issued to new people and so on they're a different system for different companies but this is one very critical thing where you would need some kind of help because sometimes the lock replacements for especially bigger buildings can go up to like 50 or 100 thousand euros this is a very critical thing and something that you don't want to just like you know pay from your own pocket so that's where the liability insurance also kicks in then afterwards you go up and it's written secondary employment that means like you're having a second job or something there are also many things are covered if you're doing self-employed activity or secondary job and you're earning less than 12,000 euros per year there's also many things where they are going to cover you and again always keep in mind this is always against other people any kind of damage that happens to others damage to rented property again like i said this is very important especially for students also who are coming to germany the first time because towards the end what happens is that many students all of a sudden say yeah the landlord is now asking us an extra 2000 or 3000 euros because these and these damages happened now in case something like that happens to you you would be covered by a private liability insurance because this is a damage which you have done to somebody else's property so that is the money that you don't have to pay from your own pocket this is also the reason why many hostel dormitories are going to have the private liability insurance as a mandatory thing in order for you to apply to their dorms so this is another thing that you should just keep in mind so if you damage the walls or floor in your rented home we'll take care of the costs damage to rented holiday accommodations that's also covered so place of residence if someone slips outside your house due to icy con conditions and claims compensation for pain and suffering your get safe insurance covers you for that so there are many other things that you can read about this i'm not going to go through the details of everything but most of the important things like i've already told you is if you're renting and something happens to the place where you're living at if you are having keys to your workplace to your home which have to be replaced 
if you're going somewhere and you cause damage to somebody else's property in general all of those things are going to be covered with this applying for the insurance is actually also not that complicated i can also quickly show you how it works so when you go to get safe's website you click on get quote and then afterwards a screen shows up which says did you ever buy another insurance policy from get safe so no then afterwards you can put your postal code inside then afterwards you can choose your excess excess is essentially how much money you want to pay from your own pocket when something like this happens so if you don't want to pay anything from your own pocket you can put zero but if you put zero of course the payments are going to be a little bit higher if you choose more from your own pocket then the payments are going to be lower. so you click on zero uh, have you had liability through the last five years no then afterwards you can see that this is essentially just 2.87 euros per month for the comfort package then afterwards there's a premium package too and you can compare the plans here like about global coverage rental damage and so on most of the things are covered but it's just that the there are more limits in the comfort one versus the premium one and the difference is not much the difference is essentially just 52 cents per month so under four euros per month you're covered for all of these things and i mean three euros 75 cents this is not even the money that you'd be spending on some kind of quick food or something. So I would definitely say that in many cases, this makes sense because only one such incident needs to happen where maybe you have to put a lot of your own funds on the line that can really drive you into bankruptcy. This is again the reason why 83% of Germans have private liability insurance and not any other random insurance that generally your insurance companies talk about. You'll find the link for getting your own private liability insurance from GetSafe in the description below. I've also made a free course for you on Big Academy which is called Germany Arrival Essentials where you can take a look at more interesting details on what kind of things you need to watch out for when you're coming to Germany for the first time. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you know a friend who might find this information useful, make sure you share this video with them. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.